Hey, hi, how are you doing? My name is Liz, and today we're going to be debunking, busting, and reacting to all your study mates. We really need to reflect on our approach when studying and see if we're really using the right and most effective study methods so that we will have our desired grades and to give us retention of all we have learned already. Because sometimes I've been seeing people with all manner of like study techniques and study, you know, methods that some like just some crazy study methods, and I'm just in my room asking myself, Lisa. Are you sure this is this is this is um this works? Are you sure this works? Are you sure this is real? So yes, today I'm going to be debunking, reacting, and you know just busting all your study mates and making sure and just like seeing my own opinions about them. You know the ones that I think work and the ones that I think that are a little bit not that aren't really going to benefit too much. And also these are just my own opinions. If you have used these study methods and they have worked for you, then fine that's very fine but from my own experience and from the experience that i've gotten from others you know like i'm just gonna like break it down to you give you the clean and clear truth so let's get straight into the video so number one study meet is i spend an enormous time studying which means i'm great at it doesn't spending hours upon hours on studying when you are not really using the right techniques to study that's 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 the, the equation is not balanced there you can spend people we'll spend up to like 10 hours straight like studying i'm like you are not really going to get other information into your head with just studying 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 you're not even like revisiting the question again you're not even like trying active recall you're not even like you're not doing all those things you're just reading 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 for hours upon hours upon hours and you think that you know the information will like be retained in your head no it's not just about spending hours studying it's also how you study you know so how you how you study plays a huge role in how you're going to pass your exams and your tests so yes please let's not let's cut or let's destroy that myth about spending hours upon hours upon study me personally i study for just like four hours highest five hours a day and i studied twice like i studied like two hours in school and i studied many two hours at home then if i want to like squeeze in an extra hour that is five hours i don't study like back to back ten or so or eight hours straight that's 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 you're just like killing yourself but soon i work better under pressure that's why i studied last night this is for people who are procrastinators that's why they say they work better under pressure i don't i can't work better sometimes i do like sometimes i do especially like maybe it's not even about reading itself if it comes to studying or like reading for an exam sometimes i do not work better under pressure i would like be so stressed the anxiety that will fill up my body will overthrow everything that's entering my head like if i read it i will be like ah am i getting enough information i'll try to and no no no, no. it's just it's just a messy way of studying it's better you study like immediately you get your syllabus immediately like you get taught the first topic at the end of every week we visit those topics you visit those subjects revise them we read them and just you know it doesn't take you just put in i said at least four hours a day we literally have 24 hours in a day just move just four hours and you know like cut them down to different sessions of the day at the time if if working under pressure like you know it works for you at a point of time especially if you enter university like i know people that in university now <laughs> whenever they like procrastinated their work it did not uh, it really stressed them out so, so in order for you if you don't like stress uh -huh, please revise your work revise your notes revise your you know, revise your subjects and revise your topics at least at the end of each it took you three months to learn this information you're trying to like you know learn everything in one day no 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 that's not that's not please don't number three taking notes in class is pointless oh my god i hate i hate when people say that they don't take notes that notes writing notes is not important like especially handwritten notes those ones are the best like whenever you write notes obviously you are reading what you are writing you're not just writing aimlessly at least you are even if you're not reading it out loud you are like you know you are, you are reading what you are writing so as you that process of reading what you're writing you are at least retain a little bit of information in your head i made the after the class you can go and visit those notes immediately like oh, there's no like hold up just revisit those notes and information will be retained in your head like i don't know people say that writing notes is pointless or taking notes is pointless that's please 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 you do not know it's like maybe you don't know the benefits of taking notes and especially if you now like write your notes 
very well. You write your notes first of all with eligible handwriting, not with some handwriting. Let your notes be clear and you know, like organized. The second of all, if you can color code your notes effectively, please do that. Those really help. I'm not a big fan of like I don't color code my notes too much because I think that is a waste of time. But when I do, like when I do, like I'm able to differentiate this information from this information, and you know, just like. Ah, color coding your notes is so important. Please, please, please. Taking notes too is very important. I won't find this better than you know taking notes on my iPad or computer. I don't have an iPad, but I find it better than taking it on a computer on a laptop. But the only reason why you can take notes, why it's better to take notes on your computer and iPad is because you know less space and so that your notes, if you write them on um, paper, will not get missing and all that. But like handwritten notes. Oh, they are, they are literally the best. Number four, I work better when I'm surrounded by distractions. Hmm. Really? Really? Uh, for me, well, I like when like I'm studying with somebody else, especially maybe like my friends or so. So just study, we'll be like, we're here to study, everybody, no like making noise, no playing, you understand? And at least I have like a group of people around me, like five feel like going to you know maybe instagram or something while studying or you know, touching my phone while studying and i look at that and see that someone is concentrating i will not because i'll be like ah if they see me you know maybe going online or going on social media they might think i'm like not a serious person but like when distractions distractions will that is what they are distractions will distract you so for me Distractions are not good. Like, please, I don't think distractions will really help you that much when studying. Like, the way you study when you are in a more quiet and more conducive environment, it's not the same way you study when you are in a distracting environment. So, yes, it depends on you. Like I said, these are my own opinions. So, it depends on you if you feel like studying in a more quiet and conducive environment helps you study better. Yes. But if you feel, also feel like studying in a distracting environment helps you too also also good but please like make sure that distraction is not limiting how much you are how much information you are getting or how you know please. myth number one two three four five myth number five cramming is effective because the information is fresh in your head prior to what i said in is it myth number three or so no cramming is not you took maybe three months to learn all that information and you are cramming it in under a day even if, even if you are cramming it under a week you are not you are not you are not that's not that's not good don't cram information cramming is not good memorize the information put the information use flashcards use active recall number six there is no such thing as too much studying but there's also something as burnout yes studying you know studying is good like study like all the time study almost every day even study on monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday okay study every day as much as you can but study wisely you understand so yes do not study to burnouts are real if you study for, like i said before this hour in that one girl in that you study for 10 hours a day back to back with no rest and even the rest service like maybe like a five minutes break or something like that you are going to get burnt out and at the end of the day you feel sick you feel you just feel so unproductive and you know all your work you have been trying you know to study and study and then they might lead you bed rest or bed rested or what should i call it um so please studying for um there's no such thing as too much studying that's a lie there's something as too much studying but there's no such thing as too much learning you understand Learning, you can always learn and learn and learn and learn and learn new things every day, every time. You know, so learning is never limited to a period or time or like an amount of time. No, but studying, studying at least you can maximize and you know just study effectively. Use it, study um, effective study methods. I have a video or two about effective and productive you know study methods and stuff like that you can use. You can watch those videos and you know just experiment to so experiment with the type of study methods, different study methods and you find you obviously find the ones that fit you that are right for you and that will not make you to study for hours upon hours upon hours and just like it just cut down your studying time and at the same time make your studying you know like effective and productive and actually give you the results you want. Myth number 
7. Myth number 7. Studying online means you learn less. As someone who has had like a has had an has had a taste of online studying, especially during COVID-19. I don't think it's true. Studying online, especially if you discipline yourself, if you are a disciplined human being, then studying online is like very it's not bad, it's very good. It doesn't mean that you study less or it doesn't mean that you are not gaining, you know, as much information as those who are studying in person, you know, studying in class and stuff like that. Studying online is very it's very effective too. Especially if you are studying like groups of people. You understand? You can share questions, share ideas, ask questions, get different feedbacks because you guys are literally there. You're literally there. Um you just help you studying online will help you discipline yourself. So I don't think studying online means you study less. No. If you are disciplined and if you you know know how to be interactive and if you also study with like a group of people online, then yeah, studying online is actually it's actually very good and very fun too. So myth number eight, there are shortcuts to better learning. I don't know like shortcuts, like shortcuts like you know, like when to say shortcuts to success. You know, to get to be successful you have to like put in hard work and dedication. So like the same way if you want to learn, if you want to like learn effectively, you have to put in hard work and dedication. Just put in those little hours. So, you know, myth number is it nine years. Present students will increase students' intelligence. Yes, I believe in motivating students. Like me myself, I like it. Like when I get like maybe a ten over ten or like hundred over hundred or like an A or something, and then my teachers they motivate me. They like you know praise me and be like, wow, wow, you try, wow, you're very smart. Ah, oh, wow, like you know even my parents like I like when like I bring back my podcast and they see my grades and they're like, Alisa, oh, wow, you really tried that in this subject. You tried, you tried, you tried. You understand? Those words of encouragement they really boost my morale. So in my head I'll be like, ah, so this is all this type of praise I'm getting. You understand? Um, maybe let me next time let me also study this way let me go study more so, so I'll get more better grades so that you understand the praise will continue to be much and much so yes that shouldn't be like a motivating factor though like that shouldn't be the reason why you want to start just so that you will gain praises from people but like, that can be like something you can just put at the back of your mind that if I get good grades I'll be praised about it better than getting bad grades and being seen as a black sheep in class or being seen as so a dull or dumb person even though because you get C's or D doesn't mean you are dumb you understand grades don't define you or doesn't define your intelligence stuff like that but like getting praise once in a while especially when you put in you know you're putting hard work i know you put on your time to study and you know you actually like actually did well you understand getting praise for it is actually actually motivates you to do more so yes i actually believe like praying students helps increase student intelligence or doesn't like help increase students intelligence but like helps them or push them or you know motivates them to do better yes 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 that's 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 how i put it Myth number 10 we have you should always stick with your first answer no 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 no. if you know the answer like you literally especially in obj objective questions like this a b c multi choice questions if you know the answer you just should pick the answer it doesn't mean that yes if you know the answer you just pick the answer but also you might pick an answer and then later you might just leave it and you go to your other questions and you come back and visit the answer you might be like i feel like this other answer is is the one so most of the times i change like my answers a lot especially if the ones the questions i'm not sure about like i'm not sure of a question i'll just like start and go to the next question and i'll come back and i'll be like i really i think it's other one not the one i chose first the other one is the right one so i don't think that like, sticking to one or your first answer is right if most um people if they change their answers they actually end up being the right ones and most times if they also change their answer it ends up being the wrong one and it ends up being <laughs> you know it's just just read if you read and if you study you won't have to be like ah, is this the answer is that the answer is b c d a f the answer and if you study well at least most of the questions you'll be able to know them and you won't have to be like you know doing guessing games so yes that's that's all i have to say there are so many like so many other study methods even the study meets that um putting your leg inside cold water will help you like stay awake to study all night and also ah, let me go oh, my leg my leg my leg, my leg is no ah. it's also the study me that i'm studying all night helps you like remember the stuff uh, no 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 especially if you're studying all night the day before the exam no rest is also same way you need to like study and you know read and revise your work. The same way you need to rest very well. Like I said, burnout is real. And if you 
you come if you like study or throughout the night like do an all nighter you will get so stressed and get so tired and you might not even put your all i don't know how you people do it or study like i've only done it like a few times and i'm not doing it again i'm never going to like study like all throughout the night and i study let's say to like maybe in the middle of the night but like not all throughout the night till the next morning i mean it's morning i just like i'll not even rest there because i know if i sleep i will just sleep off and miss my exam so like yes doing all night tasks they're not they're not really effective of in my case so in my case they're not really effective and psychologically they really are uh, they really mess you up mentally so just just study like weeks before the exam so you won't have to be stressing yourself doing all these things all night and stuff like that and even one that you like put your leg inside the bucket of cold water so that you will not fall asleep while studying all night i cannot how like you will like being in the bucket of cold water inside my room and be studying or will i study in the bathroom because i don't like water in my room i don't like a job of water i don't like it on the floor so like just just yes just let's not believe all these crazy myths all these you know methods that are not really not really effective because in the long run <laughs> they're not really going to give you the results you require so yeah that brings us to the end of this video actually i'm feeling this i'm filming this video in the morning this is the first it's not the first time i'm filming a video in the morning but first time i'm filming a sit down video in the morning so that's cool <laughs> if you like this video and you like if you like this video don't forget to like comment share subscribe please subscribe does not take anything from you okay please if you actually if this video you could resonate with one or two things in this video please like share subscribe share share with someone who might find it useful comment down your own study mates you know or study mates that people tell you to do and you find out that they're not really effective so comment down your own study mates and also Thank you so much. I'm being very consistent. I've said it before, like I'm being very consistent. So like I'm very happy, I'm very happy, I'm very happy, I'm very happy. So yeah, so if you excuse me, I have to go and get ready for work. Yes, 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 I have to get ready for work. But I'm so happy like I filmed this video today. So if you have reached this part of this video, comment down like a book. There's a stack of book emojis. So comment it down and I know that like you reached to the end of this video. And then if you have any other video suggestions, like video suggestions that you have been looking forward to, like you have been searching, you can't really find, you know, the right videos, you know, on that topic that you are searching for, please comment it down or like DM me on my social media platforms on Instagram or yes, on Instagram, yes. And I will, I will, you know, get back to you and I will like try to make those type of videos for you because I'm making, that's why I'm making videos. I'm making videos for myself. I'm also making videos to like help you guys and help everybody because like the same way youtubers helped me you know especially during high school and secondary school the same way i want to like show forth that love and help others too so yes yeah, thank you so so much for watching um have a nice day stay blessed and i will see you all in my next video